This is Pastor Jeff Chavis. I'm the pastor of Church Online. We're an online community of faith, and you can find us at churchonline.com, but we spell that uniquely, C-H-R-C-H, because we say all that's missing is you, churchonline.com. This morning, I'm considering how big is our God. Now, when I say those words, that may seem really obvious. Well, of course God is big. He's bigger than we could possibly understand. Right. That's true. But the longer I walk with him, the more I study the scripture, the more I am struck by just how much that's true that we cannot understand how big God is. But we really need to get a handle on that. Now, I think that a lot of our problems may be because our God is too small. Now, that sounds unusual, but the truth is, until we can comprehend that God is so big and so mighty and so powerful, then yes, a lot of the things that we see are going to trouble us, challenge us. But when we get the idea that our God is big, greater than we could comprehend, then our problems seem a lot smaller in comparison. It's like this. The Apostle Paul prayed, and this is Ephesians chapter 3, 18 and 19. His prayer for the church in Ephesus that they may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ that passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. So his prayer for those believers that they could comprehend just how big God is. Again, what's the challenge? I can remember in years past, here we are in an election year, and I can remember having a, well, not an argument, but maybe sort of an argument with an individual. He was convinced that even God didn't know the outcome of the election and that, you know, it was absolutely imperative that we vote. Absolutely. No question about that one. But his idea that God didn't know, and I tried to show him from the scriptures, look, at God is beyond all that. God can see. In fact, the scripture says he's the one that places them there. And of course, he knows the outcome before we even comprehend it because he's that big. So in his mind, God was too small. But again, the scripture tells us over and over that he is big and bigger than we can understand. Here's another example, and this is in 1 Corinthians 13. Um, This is the one we call the love chapter. Love is patient, love is kind. But at the bottom of that chapter, in verse 11 and 12, he has these incredible words. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I am as also I am known. Just pause and comprehend what he's thinking of. He's saying when we were younger, we thought as a child. But as we grow up, we think bigger. We think differently. But the way he says it is so important, and this is in verse 12. For now we see in a mirror dimly, As if anything that we can understand or comprehend about God in this moment is just that reflection of what is real. So, yeah, we can't fully comprehend it, but one day we will. He says, I know in part, but then I shall know as I am also known. Or another way to think of it, and I know that this is, you know, can be a little challenging for us, but this will make a little more sense. Job 26 Um, Job says, of course, Job, you know, he had all of that that happened to his family. Some, so many troubles and challenges and the whole thing was the enemy trying to get him to move his thoughts and attentions away from God. But one of the things that Job had was this comprehension, at least in part, of how big God is. Listen to these words, Job 26, 12 through 14. Again, Job's words. He says, he stirs the sea with his power, and by his understanding, he breaks up the storm. By his spirit, he adorned the heavens. His hand pierced the fleeing serpent. Indeed, these are mere edges of his ways. And how small a whisper we hear of him, but the thunder of his power, who can understand? 
I love that line. The things as big as God is, all the stuff that he's doing among creation is just the edges of his ways. Again, Paul says it. It's only a dim mirror. Job says that these are just the edges of who we are. And that last line, of his power, who can understand? That's the idea. We need to recognize that God is bigger than anything that we can comprehend. His, even the idea, anything that we could comprehend, as Job said, just the edges of who he is. It's even bigger than that. If we could possibly comprehend just for a moment. And again, why is this so important? And why do we keep thinking of these things? Well, because this is how we understand who God is and how we understand how God can be at work in our lives. I don't know what you're going through today. We all have stress and trials and troubles and things. But when we can comprehend that God is so big, again, think of Job. Think of Job and all that he went through. Lost children, lost property, lost wealth and and some of his livestock and everything. But what kept him going, and yes, he struggled, no question. There's a struggle going on. But again, as we get near the end, what comforts is it, comforts him and comforts us is this knowledge of how big he is. And that everything that I can see of his power and his might is merely the edges of who he is. So today, again, whatever you might be going through today, to recognize that God is bigger than that. We think of something as being insurmountable, some big thing that's in front of us. I know in our prayer request list today, we have a whole lot of people with different illnesses, diagnosis. And and I know when we're in those places, it's really easy for us to lose sight of that one idea that God is so much bigger than the diagnosis, so much bigger than our financial problems, so much bigger than family issues, so much bigger than it all. And that we just have to grasp a hold of this idea. He's that big. That means my problem is not that big and that God will make a way. We just recognize that's what he does for his people. And maybe the timing isn't the way we would do it. Maybe the timing isn't coming quick enough for us. We want him to take care of the situation today, right now, this morning. But there's a reason. And because God is so big, and because we can only see the edges of his ways, we got to recognize him, got to recognize his timing is also absolutely perfect. I want to give you that. It's just a little comfort this morning. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what may be happening in your life today, what stresses you're under. But just fix your mind on those things. The thunder of his power. Who can understand? He's so big, so mighty. And he loves.